All right, I'm Charlie Craven, and um, today I'm going to tie for you uh, Landed Mare's uh, Jig Pine Squirrel Leech. Um, and this is tied on a, uh, uh, oh, this is a Hannock 450 is what this hook is, but any jig hook that you like. Um, and I've got, in my case here, I've got a, a crackle. Uh, slotted tungsten bead. So this one's black and orange. These are from Hairline. Um, it's a crackle slotted bead. You can see it's got sort of different colors on it. Um, so it's got a little little highlight in it. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the of the super bright beads, hot beads on a lot of flies, but uh, having a lip color in there doesn't hurt my feelings. So um, we're gonna we're gonna tie this one with this crackle bead, um, and that's a three millimeter bead on this size twelve. Obviously, on a on a uh, jig, um, you could use any size bead pretty much that you like. You can make this much bigger or much smaller. Um, and I'm tying you a size 12. It's just going to show up a little bit better. Um, so I'm going to take some black size 14 or some 14 aught black Vivas thread. Let's try that again. And I'll start that just behind the bead. And I'll trim that thread off. Um, and I like with the, the slotted beads, I like to build a little wedge uh, behind them just to kind of anchor them in place. And then I'll come back down the hook shank just to the last straight portion and then bring my thread forward again. And for the body we're going to use some uh, medium black holographic tinsel. Um, this is sort of multicolored but, but black. It's got a little highlight to it. Uh, I'll cut a sh little short length of this. I'm going to tie this in just up here behind the bead. And I'll wrap back over it. Nice smooth even wraps right back to the end of that thread base. And then come forward again. Now I'm going to wrap this tinsel and I want to just keep a smooth even body. You can kind of rock this so that it lays flat on the hook. You don't want lumps or bumps or folds to show. I'll tie that off with a few turns. Nick that end out of there. So we've got our little kind of highlighted body. Um, I question whether that is necessary. You could tie this with no body at all on this hook. Um, it does add a little bit of, little bit of color there, but uh, um, I think you could tie it without that and, and come out just fine. Um, now for the wing, or the, uh, you know, I guess technically this is the body of the fly. Um, we're going to use a micro pine squirrel strip. Um, and the micro is, you know, half of an eighth, so about a sixteenth of an inch wide. Um, so a very narrow strip. Um, and I just want to find a spot on the strip where I've got nice even fur, like so. Um, and in the case of this being a jig, uh, we want to tie this in upside down. So we want to tie it in fur side down. Uh, you can kind of wet some of that fur a little bit. And I'm going to tie this in just up here behind the bead. And I want to make sure I get it right on top of the hook. And anchor that down with a little band of thread. You want to have some room there. Um, just to make sure that is anchored right straight on top. Um, now the length, I like to shoot for about twice the shank length. Um, one of the cool things on flies like this um, is that I'm trying to figure out how to do this where I can show you. Um, one of the cool things on flies like this is if you um, leave the tail long, you could always cut it shorter later. Um, but that's about what I'm shooting for there. It's about twice the length of the hook shank. Now the collar on this um, is made of ostrich churl. And what you want to look for on ostrich is something with the longest flues. If you think of that like a hackle feather, you want a bigger hackle feather. Um, the longest flues that you can get. And there's two sides. So right there is the inside of the feather that's facing up. You can see the stem is on the very top edge of that. Um, much like uh, a hackle feather, there's a sort of a right way to wrap these and a wrong way. Um, and what I want to do is I want to wrap this so that that inside edge um, is on the on the forward side of my wrap. Um, and this will show up a little bit easier when I when I tie this in. So what I'm going to do is strip just a little bit of fibers off the base of that stem and I'll tie this in along my near side. Again, treating it just like a hackle feather. And if you can see here, actually I'll show you this. Get that light just right. Um, see how I can turn that feather so now it's backwards? I can also pivot it around the other way and now it's right. So my stem, uh, like a biot, is going to lead the way as I make these wraps. And you can see how I can get a nice dense collar out of this right up to the back of the bead. Then I'll tie that off at just a couple turns there. 
and I can nick that end out. So you can see, again, just think of that like a hackle feather. I'll wet my fingers a bit and just sweep this all back. I'm going to build a little thread neck here in behind our bead just to lock things down there. And then whip finish. Um, this is a good spot to use kind of the, the old wet whip trick. Um, so I've already tied my whip finish. I'm going to put some head cement on the thread here. And I'll just take a few turns to let the thread apply that cement. And then I'll unwind those turns. And I can trim that thread out. And what that does is it keeps me from getting that head cement onto my ostrich. Uh, now if you kind of pop, the, pop your hook a little bit because we wetted that down, you can see how that collar will slope back. And he's going to float through the water upside down like so, hook point up, um, as a little leech. And this is a fly that you can uh, um, you can fish dead drift, you can strip, you can do a lot of different things with it. A lot of guys use this as a lead fly um, and then fish a smaller fly down behind it. Uh, Max Boshin at the shop uh, fishes a fly a lot like this. He's working on a sort of new variation that uh, I'll leave up to him to, to fill you in on. Um, but uh, he's been fishing flies like this down at Decker's and Cheeseman a bunch lately. And uh, uh, that boy catches fish. I will say that. Um, there's lots of good things to say about Max, but that's the first one right there. He catches fish. What else? Is, who, 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 what do you care? Um, what would anybody care otherwise? Um, that's what he does. That's his job. Um, so there you go. That's, uh, that's Landon's um, jigged micro squirrel mini leech. Pretty cool little bug, um, and super simple. You could crank these out in dozens of colors. Um, you know, the squirrel strips come in. Uh, oh, they really do probably come in ten colors, um, and I think all of them would be would be a good leech color. Um, definitely black, though. Don't forget about black. Um, there you go. That's it. I hope you enjoyed that one. Uh, I'm gonna come up with something else to tie, and I'm probably gonna change back into a black shirt because I don't love this blue background. But there you go. You guys take care. Thanks for watching.